Hello and welcome guys. My name is Faisal. I'm a student of Government Science College and also a student of Speak Up. How are you guys? Okay, so does anybody know why I am here today? No. So you can see on the screen that we are here to discuss how to think in English. Does anybody have any idea what is thinking in English? Can anybody say? Anyone? Okay, so let me uh, introduce you to think in English, okay? So whenever we, we're speaking, let's say in our native language, what do we do? We think first, whatever we're trying to say, right? And then we think, then we translate, and then we speak whenever we're talking in a foreign language. So whenever we're in our native language, we don't have to translate it anymore, right? We just think and we speak. But when it comes to a foreign language, it doesn't work like that, does it? Do we speak? Do we just think and then speak? No, we think and then we translate it and then we speak it, right? So what does it hamper? Does it hamper anything? It takes time, right? Time is very precious and it takes the precious time to speak in English or any other foreign language because you have to think and then you have to translate and then you have to speak. So there are three steps you have to go through. And whenever you're translating, let's say, uh, if you're translating in English, you can choose lame words, you can choose um, very out of context words, right? And we don't want that. We want to become very good speakers, right? Whenever people uh, hear us, they'll know that we are like natives, we're fluent. We want to be like that. So what we would do is we will stop translating in English and think in English directly. And in this session, I'll try to give you some advice and try to teach you how to think in English. Okay, are you guys with me? Yes. Okay, so let's start with the mindset. So if you don't want to uh, lose your very precious time translating in English, you have to change your mindset. You have to change that I won't translate in English anymore. I will just think and then I'll speak to English. This mindset is important. This will help you to go through the other steps. And then you do is you'd practice a lot. But this time it will be a different, a little bit different from before. So before you would have a script and then you would have like books and words and then you just memorize them. But right now it's not about memorization. It's about practicing without having any context. So let's say we have an inner voice in our head, right? So what we would do is we train that inner voice to speak in English and it will be subconscious completely. Believe me, at first it will, be, it will, it will seem impossible, but with time you'll know that it works. So what you do is you'll consciously try to figure out what language you're thinking in with your inner voice. So after you figure out that you are, let's say, thinking in Bangla, what you do is you'll consciously translate it in English, consciously, okay? Do you know what consciousness means? That you'll know what you're doing. So you will consciously translate in English with your inner voice and you'll train your inner voice with day to day to day, okay? And then uh, in time, you'll know that you are talking to yourself in English and it's completely subconscious. Amazing, isn't it? Okay, so the third thing you can do is practice with a partner. It's, it's boring to talk to yourself all day, right? So you would do, what you would do is you would practice with your partner. You'll uh, have a friend, you'll have a sibling, you'll have your parents, anybody. You, you would just go to them and you'll give them challenges that speak with me, but you can't translate in English. It's a fun game. Try it with your friends, okay? So, and then you can do is you can label your complete environment. You have to in immerse yourself in an environment where everything is in English. This is a table, this is a table, this is a microphone, this is a t-shirt, uh, there are watches in your hands, there are mouse, uh, there's a camera in front of me, right? Many things. So what you do is you'd label everything in English. You will not use any Bangla word 
to explain something, you'd use only English. And then when you immerse yourself in that uh, complete environment, you'll be subconsciously thinking in English. You wouldn't be thinking in Bangla anymore. You'd watch a lot of movies. Why? Because when you watch a lot of movies, you will know and understand what context is, right? Do you know what context is? No? So this is the situation, right? I am speaking in here. So if somebody just cracks a joke here out of context, that wouldn't be very good, right? That wouldn't be so uh, pleasing to hear. So that's what context is. Whatever happens here, the, the words and things remains here. That's the context. So when you watch a lot of movies, you'd know about context and you'll be able to uh, talk in context. And that's important. You'll know what to, what to say, when to say, and who to say. So that's very important. You can read a lot of newspapers so that you can get a lot of new words, vocabularies. You can have a dictionary and many, many, many more steps. So can you guys practice it when you go home today? Yes. Will you? Okay, so I'll hope that the next time I come here, many of you will be able to think in English. Do you think you can? Yes. Okay, louder? Yes. Okay, so with that, our today's topic, how to think in English, ends here. I hope uh, you all the best. Practice a lot. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.